Miller's men are marching on. The Flyers cutting down Stanford with a big first half. UD raining down six three-pointers in the first 20 minutes to build a 10-point halftime lead. NCAA regulations prohibit us from showing highlights until the end of coverage on the televising networks. I can't show you the best part. Dayton, 82. Stanford, 72. Four Flyers scoring double figures. Jordan Seibert leading the way with 18 points. UD really had its way with Stanford from start to finish. 34 points provided by the bench. Up next, a Saturday showdown against the winner of Florida and UCLA. But first things first, sports director Jack Cole is with the Flyers in Memphis, and he joins us live with reaction. Well, Hutch, whatever you do, don't call this the Memphis Miracle. Yeah, the Flyers were a four-point underdog going into this game tonight against Stanford, but they outplayed the Cardinal pretty much from the get-go. UD trailed 13-12 to with just under 15 minutes to go in the first half when Scoochie Smith had a three-pointer to put UD up to stay. Now, the big storyline heading into this game was about how long Stanford was and how much taller they were, and it would be tough for UD to score points inside. Well, the Flyer big men came through in the clutch, propelling Dayton to elite status as they head to the Elite Eight. We were able to also get some uh, some points in the paint, so that was really good. And um, in the end, it was a hard-fought game. It was a battle of uh, battle of wills, I guess, and it's just good to come out with a win. I'm happy to be here. You know, it's a blessing. You know, it's only eight teams left. You know, what I mean, and to be one of them. You know, nobody, nobody in the nation would have thought we'd be sitting in these seats. It's uh, it's great, man. Uh, you know, never would have imagined uh, when I first got here. Uh, but you know, we put in the work and uh, we deserve to be here. And uh, you know, it's a great feeling to join the moment. But looking forward to to playing in it every day. You know, uh, Hutch, I got to know, was this team really 1-5 in five to begin Atlantic 10 play? Why not play bad in January when you could play this good in March? I got to say, when I went into the locker room, and even as the players passed me heading into the locker room after the victory, yeah, they were excited, yeah, they were celebrating, but it wasn't like the end of anything. This team is all business. Archie Miller has them fine-tuned as they look to keep this magical March run alive in the Elite Eight coming up Saturday against the winner of tonight's game between Florida and UCLA. Reporting live in Memphis at the Sweet 16, or should I say the Elite Eight, I'm Jack Pohl. Hutch, let's send it back to you.